Hi guys, I'm here on, on the veteran Sherman and I'm starting my long range test. <laughs> I'm going to run this down to zero, see what happens. I have no idea what the behavior is, but I'm going to assume it's, it'll be like Gotway or, or King Song where the pedals just tilt back eventually and kick you off. I'm going to try my best to do that. I'm a little fearful because it might take a long time. You might have seen my uh, high speed test I did, I published a little while ago. And I got 39 miles and I had 89 volts I think, 5 out of 8 bars left. And I was running that wheel hard. <laughs> so. I don't know how many miles this guy's going to run before I ride, drive it down to zero, but uh, I shall find out. I've decided that I'm going to run a little faster than I normally run these tests at. I'm going to do the same route, basically, but uh, the problem is I don't have this wheel for that long, so I need to be as efficient as I can with my time. <laughs> So I'm going to allow myself, be, on my other range test, I, I always say, okay, I'm going to ride between 18 and 22 miles an hour, thereabouts. Mostly 18 and 20, I would say. Well, for this testing, I'm going to allow myself, my steady state speed to, to sit at about 22. I'm still going to try and limit myself more or less to 22 max, but I'm going to be riding a lot of that at 22. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, <laughs> my total geared up weight right now is um, uh, 176 pounds with everything that's on me right now. It's a, it's a warm day. I'm going to do this in two parts. It's about 5.15 in the afternoon. It was in the 90s, uh, mid 90s today. So uh, I'm going to do the first half of what I typically do now and then tomorrow morning I'm going to wrap it up and uh, however long that takes. So I'm going to try and get out like early <laughs> because I think it's going to be another warm day. Uh, that's about it I guess with preliminaries, uh, get all the basic information out of the way. Um, I'm really going to try not to make this a long video. You've seen, uh, you've seen this route so many times now. Uh, there's going to be very little riding in this video, except for what, what's happening right now. I'm going to uh, stop pretty much at the halfway point for this route, make a comment about how the battery is doing. And then I'll stop at the end of this uh, part one. And then I'll, I'll pick it up tomorrow. All right, guys, I will uh, talk to you in a little bit. Beautiful out here. This is my uh, about halfway point, a little more than halfway, I think, for today. About 30 miles, and I'm at 92.9 volts. Still so shows uh, seven bars, seven out of eight bars on the battery. <laughs> Doing pretty good. Uh, I've done this ride before. I've tried purposely tried to like eke out 60 miles, like um, some of the wheels. But since it's, the day's running long, I'm probably just gonna get whatever I get when I get home. I would guess probably 55 miles. 
and uh, I'll just pick up the rest of it tomorrow. So, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see what I get. Okay, I'm just going to take a little break here, rest my feet. I've pretty much been riding non-stop for uh, 30 miles. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you when I get uh, close to home for the wrap-up of today's ride. See you guys. Okay, I am at the end of day one. Just uh, less than a mile from home. Now it's dark, you probably can't see me. But uh, I'll just say that I'm at uh, 57 miles thereabouts. And let me stop at this under this light here. So 57 um, miles. Voltage is 87.4 volts. And I have five out of eight bars available. And I've been consistently trying to maintain about 22 miles an hour, 20, 22, something like that. Definitely faster than my usual ones, but um, looking good. Tomorrow might be a long day. I'm gonna sleep good tonight already. But uh, I tell you, this wheel's a, just a beautiful cruiser. Once you get tuned into it, your body gets adjusted to it. Uh, I love it. Even though I'm, I'm tired, my legs are tired, just zero wobbles. I can just relax. I can lift up one of my leg, feet, and it just the wheel just keeps going general direction I'm pointing it. <laughs> All right. Day two, tomorrow. Back into the sunlight. See you then. Good morning, guys. Day two of my long range test of uh, Sherman. Got a little bit later start than I wanted to. It's about nine o'clock. Because again, we're having hot weather. Feels nice. I'm, uh, this is the southern, my southern loop. So I'm going down towards the Pacific Ocean today. Be running down there. Should be a little cooler for me. Uh, 45 miles, that's on the agenda initially. And, and at that point, I just don't know, you know, am I gonna make the 45 miles? Or if I do, how much battery I'm gonna have left over? So that's gonna determine how much more riding I'm gonna do. In that case, I might have to uh, complete, excuse me, thank you. Uh, in that case, I might continue later in the afternoon when it's cooler again. We'll, we'll see. Uh, wanted to comment that, um, yeah, I've been watching uh, Ian, Speedy Feet, watch his uh, 250 kilometer update today, this morning. I think he pushed out yesterday. It's funny, I've done uh, over 250 kilometers in the three days I've had the wheel so far. <laughs> So, maybe I'm riding a little, a little heavier than he is right now. And uh, it's interesting, he hasn't, uh, he commented about, he has not experienced any pedal dip. Definitely we have pedal dip on this wheel, and uh, Kuji has it. And, and we're not talking about carving pedal dip or high speed, but it's when you're, um, when you're slow, slower speeds and you're doing a 90 degree turn or a hard bank, 180 or something like that. That's that's where uh, some of us seem to be experiencing it. All right. Anyway, I will uh, talk to you again when I at the midway point at uh, at uh, I don't know 20 25 miles from from here, and uh, let you know what the battery is doing. See you in a bit.
Okay, I'm halfway through the second part of this uh, range test. I'm at 79 miles and the voltage is 81.8 volts and I have three out of eight bars on the battery. So it's uh, pretty confident we're going to get back home for sure and I'll have some extra to burn off when I get there. So, um, of course, I'm still limiting my speed to, you know, 22 miles per hour as reported on the display. Uh, according to GPS, it's closer to 20 miles uh, per hour, but on my range tests, I always use what the wheel reports my speed as. So, um, anyway, limit myself to 22. No issues, of course. I wouldn't expect uh, it would be interesting when I hear the first beep out of this wheel, speed related. I'm going to be very interested to see how this wheel performs when you uh, get down to uh, the extreme lows. How does it perform? You know, on Gotways, it's 15% uh, battery under load. Then you start getting some uh, low battery beeps. Okay. Onward and upward. You hear that? Beep beep. That's new. Just in the last few minutes. Uh, I haven't quite picked up what's the trigger yet. Because, uh, well, it's got to be load related at some level. So I'm at uh, 78. 77 volts and uh, in my speed well 35 35 kilometers per hour on the panel let me speed up a bit Forty kilometers per hour. It's interesting. It, it, getting this, it's almost like I wonder if it's like a trigger every uh, X amount of seconds. Um, I'll get back to you. I'm going to time this. See if there's a see, see if it's a some warning per per duration. So it doesn't seem to be load. I can go uh, slow down or I can go faster. And it... Anyway, get back to you in a second. Okay, well, it's definitely not a time-based alarm. <laughs> it kind of feels random because uh, I can be going 30, mi 30 kilometers per hour, 35, 40, and I don't hear it, and sometimes I do hear it. So, I do not know. But clearly we are in the low battery regime. And uh, so I'm going up an incline right now. basically not hear anything, which I would expect to, like if I was on a Gatway wheel and it was beeping. So I don't know, I don't understand this yet. I mean, I'm curious what my uh, range is right now. Eighty nine miles. So this probably started about eighty seven miles into my ride, I would say. But it's uh
it's not really slowing me down at this point. Other than hearing the beeping. Maybe, uh, you know, a guy where it's beep, 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 it's, you know, kind of continuous. Maybe they've implemented something that's uh, a little bit less annoying. Okay. Get back to you later when it's worse. <laughs> okay, I'm getting new behavior. Unique to the veteran. Uh, I'm getting tilt back on the, on the pedals. It's, uh, it's subtle and it's allowing me to ride about uh, 18 miles an hour GPS. 30 kilometers per hour on the display. And if I try and push a little harder, the tilt back gets a little stiffer. And if I let up, the tilt back redu reduces. And the beeping is not getting continuous. So I think that's nice. You know, that continuous beeping just is annoying. You hear a little beep every every 15, 30 seconds. That's not too bad. I'm about 92 miles. And tilt back is definitely, uh, I'm feeling it. 15 miles an hour now. I wouldn't want to go faster. So I might not make it home. <laughs> but I'm going to try. I might have to go pretty slow. So, I think I like it. You know, uh, I definitely like the, the reduced beeping. That, that's just so nice and I have to... I, no one else knows what the beeps mean, but you know we know what the beep means, and it just you can't help but feel like embarrassed or stupid that you're riding this thing and it's beep 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 beep. <laughs> At least it bothers me. Uh, all right, well, so of course there's going to be a. I'll give you a final number, but. I would say it's, I would say it's going to be an 85 to 90 mile wheel for me at, at a kind of a, kind of a leisure, you know, 22 mile per hour pace. That's certainly not horrible. <laughs> three years ago, three to four years ago, 22 miles per hour was the fastest that was like the fastest wheel you could possibly ride. So, uh, <laughs> you gotta have the perspective. Yeah, this, this tilt back is getting annoying. Ah, all right. Talk to you again in a little bit. Okay, I'm going up the incline here and you can see what's happening. It's getting pretty bad. I'm gonna try and keep going. Slowly. Ah, can I make it up this incline? I'm trying to get it to uh, uh, relax, but uh, when I was going down, it would level out. Uh, I thought it would stop here. And I'm at 76.1 volts. So somewhere I heard it runs down to 74 volts. Uh, don't believe that if you 
uh, if you saw me, I think I wrote that somewhere, just relaying the message, but uh, that is clearly not the case. So I'd say 76 volts is it. And uh, yeah, I love the beeper. That's the way it should be done. Just a subtle little beep beep every once in a while. So I can live with that. Now look at the pedals. They leveled out. Now on uh, the other wheels, they won't level out until you actually cycle the power in the wheel. And I'm on one bar, by the way. So if I didn't have these, I got to go underneath these bridges on this tra trail. If I didn't have those, maybe I'd be able to make it home. I still might, but I got a few more un underpasses like that. <laughs> yeah, 76, I don't know, it varies, right? It's toggling, it's dropping down to 75.5, under load, thing, very, it's bumping around, but under steady load, it gets pretty bad under under 76. Pedals tilting back a little bit. I'm going nine p miles per hour GPS. Very interesting. All right, see you again in a little bit. All right, guys. Ugh. <laughs> I'm calling it a quit. I want to demonstrate something for you though. Turn off the wheel. Turn it back on. It does allow you to do that. Never do that on a Z10 9 bot because it won't turn back on if it's below a certain voltage. But uh, this, this is doing just like the Gateway. So uh, I can ride it again for a little bit. But uh, and it starts tilting back pretty soon. There's no way I'm gonna. I have probably th three miles to get home. There's no way I would make it. Uh. So I have to call the wife. <laughs> Look at the voltage again. Seventy-five point eight, point nine volts. So seventy-six is zero basically, and uh, it's still showing one bar in the display, so it doesn't go down to zero. And I'm at, uh, let's see, ninety-three and a half miles. That's what I'm calling it quits. I'm a little disappointed that it was a 100 mile wheel. <laughs> this is all so relative, guys. Oh man, I'm disappointed I couldn't go 100 miles. <laughs> this is a f pretty fun wheel. You know, up to 85 plus miles, that's for sure. Closer to 90 miles, it's, it's decent. And, and, it, and uh, yeah, so I, I guess I'm probably with, um, yeah, and he said some like 65 miles and he rode it hard. I rode it 39 miles hard and I still had five out of eight bars. And of course my weight, and I don't know if I mentioned my, my tire pressure, I'm riding at uh, mid 25, 25 plus, between 25 and 30 pounds. Closer to 25 I think, that's why I like it. So, uh, it's good enough for me. Uh, I mean, that's, I'll never, I don't think I'll ever take one ride in one day that's going to uh, exceed this battery, that's for sure. Hope you found this useful, and there will be more tests including Overheat Hill coming up. Talk to you later, guys.